What's going on YouTube? GSNO right here. So in today's video I have some news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak. It seems that some progress is being made towards an iOS 15 jailbreak, so let's get into it. This video is brought to you by Phone Rescue, a software that allows you to recover lost data from your device or from backups or iCloud backup and so on. If you have important photos or contacts and so on that might be in there, it's worth a try. It can also fix various issues with the device and even recover the screen time passcode if you forgot it. Check the program out in the link below. So a lot of people seem to be tagging me into posts like this lately. This one was made back on 15th of May and this one was made back on 11th of May, both of which are from the same developer, this person over here. I never heard of them before, they seem to be Japanese and also interested in jailbreaking and iOS and stuff like that. It's not a developer that I know or that I've seen tools released by before, but they seem to be using code that is publicly available, like code by Shina520 over here for iOS 15 Amphi Task Control, in order to build a tool tool, either a jailbreak or a file manager, an unsandboxed file manager with exploit. So back on May 15 they posted this, quote, got read write for var containers on iOS 15.1, hashtag jailbreak, and they posted a screenshot from what appears to be Xcode and LLDB, a debugger on iOS, in which they showed that they are able to write a specific file to a specific location. They also posted back on May 11 this over here, quote, successfully unsandboxed on iOS 15.1 but almost read only, hashtag jailbreak, with another screenshot from Xcode, which is great. So it appears that they are working on building something that can write outside of normal app containers. That could be something like Falza or Falza Escape, but that can also be transformed into a jailbreak. But from what I can understand on their profile, most of their posts are basically in Japanese, so not a lot can be understood. But they seem to use multicast byte copy and desk race and so on, so these are publicly available exploits, but also techniques from Shina520 over here, which have been posted back on April 17th. So what they're building is probably something based on those, but they also seem to have issues with Amphi and so on, so they are thinking of developing a file manager rather than a jailbreak. So I don't know, a lot of people ask me about this and tag me on these posts, like this person over here. Thank you for tagging me into this, it's quite interesting. It seems like this person is a new developer. They managed to get a successful unsandbox on the var containers, which is great. This seems to be their latest achievement, they got rid of to the var containers on 15.1 which is good and the reason it's 15.1 is that 15.1 and 15.1.1 are basically the latest versions that the exploit which is currently available supports. 15.2 and newer is not supported and a lot of techniques are broken on that as well. But if you're waiting for a jailbreak I wouldn't hold my breath for anything released by this developer, not because they may not be capable but because they seem to have a lot of issues with Amphi and so on so they seem to be learning. They're not very experienced with jailbreak development, so that may take a lot of time. If you want a jailbreak, I would definitely say wait for Uncover and Torin, especially for Torin. They have an entire team behind it and they still get a lot of issues with Amphi, so yeah, it will take time. However, it's nice to see new developers being interested in iOS and stuff like that and developing jailbreaks and using the publicly available exploits. People are always complaining that there are a lot of exploits but nobody uses them. Well, now they do, so that's actually great. If you're interested in a jailbreak, definitely stay below 15.2, that's what Torin recommends and that's what I recommend as well. Past iOS 15.2 things get even more complicated and while a jailbreak will be released eventually, it will take more time. But yeah, this developer did get an important achievement into getting read write for the VAR containers on iOS 15, that's good for jailbreak purposes, but it's not a full jailbreak. They're still messing with Amphi, which god knows is not an easy task. So I'm gonna keep you updated if anything comes from that. Thank you for watching, I'm G. Snow, peace out.